the tax journey is, is very critical for the owner managed business. And the purpose of the tax journey is to manage and to navigate potholes along the way. And some of them are quite small and some of them are quite large. And it's very important that you have a trusted advisor, which, which Ian also spoke about, that you can speak to, to optimize your wealth. Um, I think that is quite critical because that's what the owner managed business is doing. The owner is working very hard, long hours. And we just want to give a helicopter view of, of, of some of the things that arise for the owner managed business. But by way of example, we had a, a, a client called Peter who started a business, a manufacturing business at 41. He was very, very, very successful indeed. And at the age of 73, he decided to, he would step out. He wanted to sell his business, keep it in the family. And he sold the business to his daughter, an engineer. And the business at that stage had grown to a value of 50 million rand. Now, given that his daughter was in the family, it was a friendly transaction. He sold a loan account. He did have independent valuations and he would end up paying the capital gains tax. And during the course of that year, Peter fell ill and his daughter came to us and said, well, um, you know, what are the implications? And the problem was Peter now had a loan that was worth 50 million that would have fallen into estate duty. And estate duty is 25% above 30 million, 20% below that. The net effect is that taxes would have been a considerable amount in fact, almost 20 million rand, 40% of the wealth that had been built up over a period of 32 years. The question is, was there a better way of structuring that? Was there a way in which the wealth could have been managed a bit better? Fortunately, Peter is still with us. And so the estate duty at that stage wasn't a problem. But had Peter put the shares early on in day one into a trust when they were not worth when he was starting the business many years ago, he would have ended up saving a considerable amount of, of tax and managing the process certainly a lot better. And, and I think that's where a trusted advisor comes in. And that's where the diamond model also comes in where early on in those days when you are starting your business and you're signing charity ships, you're borrowing money from banks and putting into the business and, and charging interest, you often trying or trying to save on cash flow and limit taxes and limit the structure. And still today, even though there are changes that arise in the disclosure of trusts and in the tax returns of trusts, it still is a beneficial way of, for the owner managed business to operate. The important thing of having a trusted advisor is that they will help you navigate through the changes. And there are changes that arise along the way. Also, when you start up your business, the registrations, the VAT registrations, the customs, and then general transactions that you that arise during the day, during operations, and you may want to ask, you may want to phone your trusted advisor at BDO and say, I'm entering this transaction, I'm not sure about it, what is your take on it? And I think you know, having that knowledge available uh, to help grow a business is adding peace of mind. And, when we move in this diamond model that Ian spoke about from the startup to maturity, I think it's quite critical that in the process, you, you keep your taxes up to date, you keep your filings up to date. It's very important that when SARS comes and does an audit, that you have that information available at your fingertips. 